Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. It's Alma. Welcome back to my channel. All right, guys. So I'm here to give you an update on Ambrin. So check it out, guys. A full 30 days. I completed my first 30 days, and then I got started on my second month, and then I had to stop, and then I started again, and I'm gonna stop again. Let me explain why. All right, guys. So. Um, in case you're new to my channel, I am getting ready to start in the month of June a 30-day challenge where I am eliminating the majority of my sugar alcohols and my sugar substitutes, and that's going to be torture. I love Gold Peak Tea. I love it, love it, love it. I can't even describe. It's just pleasure for me. However, it contains aspartame, so I'm going to have to stop doing it. Let me tell you, because of that challenge, I started looking at other products that I have that have unnecessary sugars. And well, gum, crazy, 2.9 grams on average of carbs per piece, per piece, guys. And the majority of them have like four different artificial sweeteners and sugar alcohol. So I said, eh, it was stop doing that. So I started investigating gums. So what I was doing is testing my blood in the morning and then chewing the gum and then testing again an hour after. Well, guess what? The first couple of tests, my blood sugars were out of control. I, 116, which is completely abnormal for me. So I was like, what's up with that? So I looked at my bottle of test strips and sure enough, they were expired. So I thought, okay, well, let me go ahead and get new ones. I'll test with that. Perhaps I will start seeing better numbers. Well, the first day I didn't. And I was like, what's up with that? Well, it just so happened that during that same time frame, for two days, for two days, I forgot to take my Ambrin. And guess what happened? my blood sugars went down and I thought, is it the Ambrin? So I went ahead and Googled uh, their proprietary blend and uh, in their facts, sure enough, it says monosodium glutamate. And monosodium glutamate can definitely raise your blood sugar, uh, as well as menopause in general. However, since I was taking this lovely medication and my initial blood results were high and then stopped taking it and it went back down. My assumption was this might be the culprit. So I went ahead and took it again and guess what? It went back up again. So what I've decided is I don't want to use this product during the month of June while I'm testing. Keep in mind that my blood sugar was in an abnormally high range. For me, I was in ketosis based on my ketone sticks, albeit at a lower range than I'm used to being in. I'm used to being maintaining it like a 2, 2.5. So I don't know if the culprit is this. I don't know if the culprit is me because I'm in menopause. I don't know if the culprit is my body adjusting because I have just recently, in the last month, um, increased my dose of my thyroid medication and so my hormones are trying to adjust. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to do anything that could potentially um, mess with my month of June and my testing. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pause on this, but I will say if you are not trying to maintain a state of ketosis, if you're not uh, concerned about your blood sugars, or if you can actually test it on, on, on the regular, go ahead and give this product a try. It definitely helped with my hot flashes. It definitely helped with my night sweats, and it definitely aided in my sleep. It's still not perfect, but it would aid in my sleep albeit there were days where nothing was going to help. Um, but yeah, guys, I would say it's definitely a good product. And I would definitely say that I perhaps after the month of June would go back on it. So I'm going to try and reach out to the manufacturer, see if they can give me some information. But meanwhile, there's a pause on this until um, at least my month of June is over and then we'll see what's going to happen with that. But I would still give it a thumbs up as far as how it positively um, affected my hot flashes and my night sweats. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. So this is just my personal review, guys. So um, you know what? I'll get back with you guys in the month of July and let you know if I'm going to resume uh, in the month of June. Please keep my hot flashes in your prayers because it could get rough with me not having any medication for hot flashes. 
and not have my little pink bag tea. So guys, if you're interested in joining our June challenge, uh, check out the Facebook group. It says Stevia Only June Challenge, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you guys. All right, so that's my update for now, and uh, check back. Maybe in July, I will go ahead and resume and start the whole test over again. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.